Icon. Good evening, I'm Rick Garcia. And I'm Sharon Tay. We begin with breaking news in Bell Gardens. There is a massive manhunt for a killer going on right now. A man was shot to death. His body found next to his car a short time ago. Tonight, police are looking for two suspects in a violent jewel heist at a Sherman Oaks mall. The victim was so scared, he doesn't want his face to be shown. KKL Lines Juan Fernandez says the robbers got away with a million dollars worth of gold and gems. Another LAUSD teacher is under investigation. The school district confirmed today that a teacher was removed from a classroom at Mount Gleason Middle School in Sunland. KCAL Lines Melissa McCarty went to that school to find out more. All right, thank you, Evelyn. Whitney Houston will be laid to rest in her hometown tomorrow. Preparations are being finalized tonight for the private funeral in Newark, New Jersey. Her loved ones held a wake for the late singer earlier this evening. KCAL Lines Manuel Gallegas shows us how fans came together to show support for Houston's family. One week after Drew Ferraro jumped off the roof of his school in La Crescenta, his loved ones and even strangers still struggle emotionally. They still can't understand what drove him to this act of desperation. KKL 9's Joy Benedict shows us they're determined to keep it from happening again in their community. That house was destroyed and it's being called suspicious by investigators. KCAL 9's Cara Finstrom spoke to neighbors who say the victim's wife had just moved out. A mother suspected of drowning her one-year-old daughter and trying to drown her five-year-old daughter was charged today with murder and attempted murder. A 98-year-old woman in Connecticut is being evicted from her home. Even worse, the landlord is her son and he sent the eviction notice on her birthday. Tonight, that teacher has been removed from the classroom, but students and their parents are fighting to get him back. Was the school's disciplinary action too harsh? KKL 9's Christine Lazar shows what the photo flap is all about. So me, tell me how you love my body and how I make you feel, babe. You want to roll with me, you want to hold with me, you want to stay warm and get out of the... Two puppies burned at a Kern County dog rescue are getting treatment at the Grossman Burn Center. Renowned doctor Richard Grossman is donating his services to provide skin grafts for the four-legged patients. KCON Lines' Amy Johnson shows us how they're doing. Thank you. He's a hero who saved lives. That's what the head of Immigration and Customs Enforcement is saying about one of his agents tonight. The agent sprang into action yesterday and ended the shooting inside the Long Beach Federal Building yesterday. Cake Online's Amanda Burden has learned his name and has an update on this investigation. Thank you. A Temecula woman is under arrest tonight after people saw her 12-year-old daughter walking around naked and eating food from trash cans. Officers tracked down the mom, 40-year-old Tracy Betts, at Vail Elementary School where she works as a teacher's assistant. Now, police are saying she kept that child in her car while she was working. Somehow the girl escaped yesterday. Betts is facing child endangerment charges. The girl is now in protective custody. Why are we not surprised? Uh, speaking of surprise, a surprise of a lifetime for some local students. First Lady Michelle Obama crashed their tour of the White House. Cake and Lies' Rachel Kim is live at LAX. When two burn puppies needed help, the top dog from the Grossman Burn Center in Sherman Oaks came to the rescue. Cake and Lies' Amy Johnson reports. Hmm. Hard to say you didn't do it. When cops find...